It's Madden NFL 22, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the reigning Super Bowl champs and the Niners, coming up next. Well, the onset of fall weather is certainly a welcome occurrence for folks in Silicon Valley. And we've got football on a gorgeous day here in Santa Clara as we are situated at Levi's Stadium. The scene a short time ago, this crowd, they love their 49ers, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. And we're ready for football as the 49ers get set to do battle with their opponents. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. in the air and the NFL season is in full swing and we're underway here in week four. Here's Sims now from his end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by a Heisman runner-up during his college days. It's the versatile Jalen Hurts. And he's playing at a very high level here in this early part of the season. In fact, he leads the NFL in passing yards. Now, that's not always an indicator of success, but in his case, it is. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Hurts to throw. Well, he's going to take a shot right away. And that nearly intercepted. Oh, the free safety roaming into position almost had it, but it's second down. They go play action with Hurts. They'll roll him out right. And Hurts able to show off some of that elusiveness as he slides to the ground there and in the process picks up the first down. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third touchdown. <laughs> Dallas got it. His second touchdown on the season. And the Redwoods have taken the early lead. And you know, you and I praise tight ends in today's game a lot for being just like a bigger-bodied wide receiver. Boy, a play that long from that position, you just didn't used to see that as much. No, you were really just counting on the tight end position to catch the football and get what they got on the catch. And now it's the run after the catch. It makes them so dangerous. Hard to bring those big guys down when they get rolling. Couldn't bring him down here. Got into the end zone. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Scoring summary, three-play drive. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. They'll be led out by the former number three overall pick back in 2021. It's Trey Lance. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up-and-down game, almost like basketball, where both teams press and one team gets an advantage. Our team's trying to run with them, and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not. Just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. On first and ten, here's Lance. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Second and ten. Yeah, 
Here's Lance to throw it. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. First down. It's Mitchell. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42 yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Throwing now is Lance. They'll run the screen with Mitchell. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. So Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath. Maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field everyone getting their feet wet early trying for Ayuk, but it's intercepted picked off around the 37 and the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48 yard line what a start defensively your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And they do finally get him at the 12. And they rattle off a big one. Play action. Here's Hertz. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. To throw once more on second and ten. Hertz. And it's caught. Touchdown. T.J. Hawkinson, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Redwoods are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all season long. There's another example. They did it again. This offensive coordinator, right now you can write his ticket towards being a head coach. He's advanced in the ways of offense. Coup for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. The drive there only spanning three plays. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Trey Lance of the 49ers set to go back on offense here. And he'll look to rebound from the early interception that led to six points the other way. And when he threw the interception and he had to come to the sideline, I guarantee his first thought wasn't about the interception itself, but what could result. And I know he was thinking to himself, come on, defense, bail me out. Well, they weren't able to in this situation. Now he's got to go out and atone for it himself, but he can't force things. On first down, it's Mitchell. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. 
Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. And Lance now to throw. That's to Mitchell out of the backfield. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Well, this defense, Charles, really played well in that win a week ago. And one of the key things you always look for when you're evaluating a defense is how opportunistic are they? How many takeaways do they get per game? And how about last week's game? That number, six. Absolutely phenomenal performance. They were on top of their game right from the first snap. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Lance with a tap forward on the jet sweep. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. And just a yard to go here on second down. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Four down, four down. Smith, Ray. Ray. From the gun, he'll hand this off. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. That result, really no surprise. That's what we're coming accustomed to with this number one ranked rush defense. And you study the game. Is this bringing back a few memories? Maybe the 85 Bears trying to move the ball against them, 2000 Ravens. Heck, how about the late 60s, early 70s purple people eaters, the Minnesota Vikings? Hard to move the ball against those types of teams. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. On oh, the return is Sims. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's Sacramento's offense once more. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. This one caught. It's the tight end, Hawkinson. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. But first down, Hurts. He'll buy some time right. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Hurts sets up to throw it. Being chased out left. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. That's caught. It's Cunningham. And he gets it down deep into San Francisco territory. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and touchdown. That's caught. A great effort there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Redwoods had six to their lead. Boy, these guys are off to the races, Charles. 20 to nothing already, extra point pending. Yeah, you always hear that term, they just boat race someone. Heck, it's car race, motorcycle race. 
plane race, whatever you want. Right now, they are sprinting past them. Now Young Wei Koo for the extra point. It's good, and before you know it, it's 21-0. Five plays there on that drive. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. San Francisco's offense returns to the field and some dangerous territory. Already down three scores, a three and out here, or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Now a give right side, Mitchell. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Meanwhile, Lance's throw taken in by Miller. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Well, these guys certainly need something good to go their way because this first quarter... It's been something of a disaster for them trying to move the ball, but that completion there maybe can get them focused and moving in the right direction. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Second and 11 now. On play action, Lance. And his throw is incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Throwing his Lance on third down. Drops this underneath, it's Mitchell. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. This one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven yard line. Jalen Hurts in this offense trotting back out. A big reason why they've been so successful. This defense hasn't been able to contain him when he gets outside of the pocket. So true, and that's when it's really difficult because defensively you can have a game plan and try and account for all the things you've seen on tape, the way that they run their plays, even his running. But when it's a play where you just can't really say, okay, that's how the play's supposed to go, what they call broken plays, that's when the X and O doesn't work. That's when their Jimmy is better than your Joe. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Brandon Stevens, and he will bring it back to the four-yard line. A 
with such a costly interception. Nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is and oftentimes is successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football. That interception almost cost them six points. Now their defense has to run onto the field, probably giving the quarterback a few side eyes along the way. They've got to see if they can stop a score. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Lance looking to throw it. Touchdown, 49ers! George Keller, his first touchdown on the year. And the 49ers get a score closer. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. In plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. Here's Sims now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in it, and let him fling another one. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Throwing his hurts. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Hurts. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. First and ten, it's Hurts. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And finally, he is out of bounds, but not before taking it down near the 15. And what a big-time play there. Big plays are starting to become the trend here in this first half, and everything that they've tried has worked, and there's another example right there. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Throwing again on second and ten. Hurts to the goal line, but it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range, so now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. And it's caught. Touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown of the game, number eight the season and the Redwoods are able to extend their lead now he's having a nice little first half here partner and it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come I mean two touchdowns already here through the second quarter there could be plenty more before this game is over 
Baku now for the point after. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's had a good chunk of carries. Problem is for very little success. I don't want to put it all on his shoulders, but that's a big reason they're losing right now. Got to be very careful that he doesn't start pointing fingers. Offensive line obviously trying. The defense is doing a nice job against him today. When it's all said and done, it's all about the guy in the mirror. He has to get it done better going forward. See if he can look and do some soul searching now. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Here's Lance. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's Sacramento's offense once more. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. From the gun, it's Hurts. Got a man, it's Brown. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now. Might have fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. Here's Hurts to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And this is caught. It's Brown. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A big play that time through the air. 39 yards. Rolling to his left. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it. And he will take this one this in for a touchdown. Miles Sanders. His second touchdown on the season. And the Redwoods continue to pull away here in this first half. Sometimes a group that gets overlooked, certainly, the offensive line. Right there, they really helped with that score. Didn't they tell us in our meeting that when we score touchdowns, running the ball, that means the offensive line actually scored first by moving people back beyond the end zone. We saw evidence of that on that play. Coup for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Six, 
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Debo Samuel and the 49ers back in possession here. Hasn't had his best day to this point here in the second quarter. They're losing. You got to think, though, that also means that maybe the defense doing a good job on him. There's two sides to that coin. I would agree, so you have to give them credit, but that means you've got to find a way to beat that defense and make sure one of your top playmakers touches the football and has an impact up. Now Lance unable to escape and down he goes. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there and it's second down. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. And this came from the interior of the defensive line and these guys, they're normally anchors of that spot and they don't often get clear shots at the quarterback. But in this case, he got past the center and the guard in no time and got there to make the play. Well behind the sticks here with a second and 18. Another try after the first down sack. Lance escaping the pressure right. Now we've got whistles and a timeout here. Yeah, it looks like we've got a 49er that's down on the field. While the training staff works on him, We'll step aside and be right back. The Niners on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and 16. Working from the gun, Lance. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. Ball oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. Before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Jalen Hurts in this offense trotting back out. They've got the lead. He's a big reason why. Looking sharp so far. And as we travel around the league, we see quarterbacks get it done in a variety of ways. But today's NFL does tell us one thing. If that guy doesn't play well, <laughs> their team's not going to win. And right now he's got his team in the lead. And now they'll look to extend that lead. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive, eluding the pressure right. And Hurts able to show off some of that elusiveness as he slides to the ground there and in the process picks up the first down. They'll look to throw now on first down. Forced out to his left. And Hurts able to show off some of that elusiveness as he slides to the ground there and in the process picks up the first down. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Flush to his right. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. He'll get three yards on the scramble there in second down. What a dimension this man brings to this defense. He had his mind set there that he was going to get in and make that tackle. He really flew to the football. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. To throw again on second down. Hurts dancing to his left. And it's caught. Touchdown. Devontae Smith. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Redwoods are pouring it on. Now Young Way Koo for the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. So that drive, four plays.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Let's go. Debo Samuel and the 49ers back in possession here. A chance maybe here for them to get him more involved. They're down here on the scoreboard, and he's been very quiet. And the silence has been deafening for his team. They don't need that at all. They need fireworks. They need explosive plays. They need him touching the football in any way possible. Maybe go to some jet sweeps. Anything to get him going. Yeah, something to get him the ball. We'll see if they can do it. And Lance's throw taken in by Samuel. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Throwing again on second down. Lance. It's caught. It's Miller. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Throwing on first down is Lance. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But an alert 49er. to gain possession so they will indeed hold on to the pigskin and pressure coming and they got him once again call it a loss of five a big sack to bring up third down well someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks he came into the game in the top five now you add two more to his total Now after the sack, Lance and the Niners staring up here at a third and long. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Now after the sack, Lance and the Niners staring up here at a third and long. On third down, Mitchell. And not much of an opening there as he's only going to get this to about the 32. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Call it an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return. Jalen Hurts in this offense trotting back out. He's got to be feeling pretty good. Playing well. Team has the lead, so just looking to mount a drive here that ends in the end zone. And all quarterbacks will tell you, hey, we love a running game, helps us out. But at the end of the day, they want to rely on their arm, throw the football, feel good about things, keep things moving in the right direction. Right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. And we'll see if that continues. And the Niners get there and bring him down. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Throwing on second and long. Hurts. Throw left side complete. That's Smith. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. And this was a nice example of the offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath wrap, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Cunningham. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A big connection on that one. 30 yards. Now we know this offense has the potential to strike quickly, and they just bit off two huge plays on back-to-back -back snaps. So on the other side of the ball, you've got to go band of brothers thought process. No one left behind. No pointing fingers. No accusations. Because if you don't, those quick strikes we just saw, they become long-lasting. So everything else has gone right in this first half. Kind of follows that it would for their kicker, too, as he adds three more onto the lead. Yeah, and the way that this one's gone, 
Definitely not looking like he's going to have to worry too much about pressure kicks late in the game. He can go out there free and easy, just work on his form, and he knocked that one through. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. No reason to do anything foolish as they'll snap it one more time on first down. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee and that should do it for half number one. So we've reached halftime. All right, folks eager to get back to this week four matchup. We won't put up a fight. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And they have a mountainous deficit looming in front of them. It was really, Charles, a disaster of a first half. So where do they go from here? Well, first thing they have to remember is that what's done is done and there's no going back. And now you have to play this drive by drive. Obviously, come back in this spot, pretty unlikely. But you still have to go out, take pride in your work, and try and put something together here in the second half. Levante David in on the tackle. Well, they certainly haven't been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got a chance to pin their ears back and get after him now. And not much, maybe a yard up to the 29. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. From the gun on third down, Lance. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, on, seven on the return. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. It's complete to Brown, right side. And quickly they get to the line. Right there, 54, right there, right there, 54 miles. Play action. Here's Hurts. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that is going to be pulled in one handed. Wow. Let's go. It's a big play there. It doesn't look like this defense found the magic elixir at halftime. This offense was rolling in the first half, and that's continued here in the third quarter. Another big play right there. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Here's second and two now from the three. Another run with Sanders. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Miles Sanders, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Redwoods extend their lead yet again. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Coup now for the point after. Yeah. 
And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep... Now Lance unable to escape, and down he goes. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. From the gun, it's Lance. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Mitchell. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. Shotgun now for Lance. Open man is IU complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. A nice throw there for a good game and a first down. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Now Lance. And he can't escape, and down he goes. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Now after the sack, Lance and the Niners staring up here at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. They're gonna run the sweep, it's Samuel. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there, all 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Here's second and five now from the 37. Here's Lance to throw it. Checks this one down, it's Mitchell. So back to back plays, each get nothing. And just like that, it's third down. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket, that they'll do it on purpose. It doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just, I, they move, and they know it. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. I tell you, Brandon, it seems like this guy's been all over the field so far. That's his second interception of the game. And so much of playing defense in the NFL, especially when it comes to defending the pass, is all about positioning and technique. And this is fantastic work on both fronts there. Here's Sacramento's offense once more. 
And last time out, another touchdown. And I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this one's just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those empty seats? Who? You and me <laughs> trying to get to the airport. That's the roads true. will be fairly that, clear that is by the one time positive. we have to leave the booth. Now, first down carry by Sanders. Well defensed as they'll hold him to just a couple. Second down coming up. Throwing on second and eight. Hurts flushed out right. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. And if anyone thinks they're just going to tuck their horns in and pull back off the throttle a little bit, you can forget it. Even with this big third quarter lead, I think this team's going to continue to take their shots downfield. And there's another completion. Airing it out deep for Smith. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Off the play fake. Here's Hertz. That would almost intercept it, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Snags it for the pick. And the 49ers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Now Lance unable to escape, and down he goes. Brian Burns in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Well, for last week's performance, which was so good, he was named NFC Defensive Player of the Week. He got a lot of praise, and understandably so, from national media. Looking pretty good on that play, too. And I love what he told us this week before the game. He talked about how much time they spend working on pass rush moves every position because anyone could go after the quarterback in their defense, and you can see how they've all absorbed their lessons. On third and long, it's Lance. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. 14 yards is the pick up there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Forty-two yards on the punt, just two on the return. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing... That's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah. Will they make up for it? Right back to Sanders on first down. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Javon Kinlaw, the big D tackle there to bring him down. Hurt sets up to throw it. Escaping the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Well, yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. Second and 11. They go play action with Hertz. Rolling to his right. There he goes inside the 30. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 
containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you got to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too... And it's caught. Touchdown. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Redwoods are going to be moving to 4-0 and as they extend their lead. As that lead just swells and swells. Look, this has been dominance in all three phases. Offense, defense, and special teams. So don't we have to give a lot of credit, not just to what we've seen today, but the preparation in advance, coaching staff, commitment by the players to the game plan, and being ready to go in this one. You're exactly right. Clean sweep. And boy, are they going to celebrate this one after it's over. And on the other side, this is the game film. You just flush and never go back and review. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked so well. Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. And Lance now to throw. Can't get away, and he's taken down. The defensive end, Daniil Hunter, drops him. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Now after the sack, Lance and the Niners staring up here at a third and long. Lance looking to throw it. And this is going to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on to kick it away. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. Here's Sacramento's offense once more. And it would seem as if their three-game winning streak is about to go to four, but still a little work to do as they start first and ten. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. As many games as the two of us do, I would hope that one day we'll be able to solve this riddle. Why is it on a hot day that one team has more trouble with the heat than another, and especially when you can't stop a guy running the ball. You know it's September in the booth, though, when you and I have both removed our coats, and those <laughs> were gone in the first quarter. They were gone in the first. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off near the 42. And they will finally get him down as he's all the way to the 36-yard line. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage, but instead he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. 
Picked up by Levante David. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And gosh, you look up at the scoreboard. They just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, that hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll start on the ground with Harris. A very tough run, but for a short gain out near the 32. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Throwing his hurts. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Eric Armstead, the defensive end, will get credited for the sack. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Hurts. Eluding the pressure right. And all oh, this is taking him one-handed. What a catch. Holding offense. That's on the tackle, Panay Sewell. Still third down. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? Here's Sanders. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Nine yards on the carry, but it's going to lead to a fourth down. And Hurts not coming to the sideline. They're going to go for it. And now before they run this fourth down play, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. And they bring their punter out there now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. Ooh, the juke. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The San Francisco's offense returns to the field even though they were able to force the punt defensively. Still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And that'll make it second and 10. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. To throw again on second down, Lance. And that is incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. They come up to the line now facing a third and 10 after the incompletion. And they fake the handoff, now Lance. Taking a shot for Samuel. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. A big third down play there for the Niners. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. Every team we ever talk to that continues to run the ball in a game, even when they haven't had much success, all talks about attrition, don't they? If you keep running it, eventually good things are likely to happen. It's been a hard go in this game today, hasn't it? Yeah, this defense, they've met pretty much every challenge in front of them this afternoon. They're still trying to run the ball, but they're not finding much space. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. 
Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. They've got it third and goal now as they try to punch in a late touchdown. Push him back. Push him back. Working from the gun, Lance. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. The field goal doesn't help. They're gonna go for the six here on fourth and goal. They'll try and run for it. And he's not going to get there. They tackle him at the two. On, now, go. after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven-yard line. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now it looks like he'll throw here. He'll buy some time right. And he'll go out of bounds after getting this across the 15. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts sliding out of the pocket. And this is caught. It's Brown. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. This will be caught once again by Brown. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Coming to you, coming to you. Hey, wake up. On first and ten, it's Sanders. 66 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. And this is caught. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Starting to really smell a 4-0 start right now. Yeah, can't ask for a better first quarter of the season than that. And you're not supposed to look ahead, but guess what? You're they, going to? They have to. <laughs> because when you get to four, if you get to 4-0, you're not just thinking playoffs now. You're thinking about, okay, this team has the capabilities of winning a Super Bowl. They could very well be the best team in the NFL at this moment. I think they played the best. I mean, there have been a few hiccups offensively and defensively, but probably the best team we've seen, right? And has the ability to get better. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that will extend this big lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken in at the three. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. So this is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because that his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off near the 42. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So the special team's penalty costs some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. And they take a knee. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, 
You just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for our visitors, hey, they finish a perfect month of September as they move to 4-0 on the new campaign. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Atlanta Falcons. Meanwhile, for the Niners, they'll drop down to 1-3. And, and they'll be at home next week for a date with the Seattle Seahawks.